Hey everyone, I wanted to come on and share with you guys some um, orders that had been coming in from China. Um, then I have two very small orders, one from Simon Says and my creative time. So I'm going to jump right into it. Excuse the noise in the background. we got the ACs on, the TVs on. Right, I'm going to start with Simon Says and I just wanted to quickly share the uh, coupon code for $5 off your total purchase. So that is always um, nice to have saves on shipping and you all know shipping is crazy expensive um, so I ordered this in um, Doris uh, Heart and Home um, clear stamp set they actually um, came out with some new releases tons of new uh, clear stamp sets I think they're out of stock at the moment I know this one is um, what is this one even called? Hello, honey. I love little bees, and I thought these were the cutest little bee stamps ever. And I think these are seven ninety nine. Um, and then it has all the cute little sayings. I hope your day is beautiful. Then happy bee day to a sweet friend. Hello, honey. Be happy and thanks for your help. How cute those little bees are. I cannot wait to play with these. So I got that one, and I got this one, Your Next Die, and this one is Honey Jar Shaker Die. I thought that was really cute. Um, comes with a cute little uh, bow to put around the jar, and then you get two uh, different tops. I love this top. It's just like a scallop, lacy, uh, not lacy, but isn't that cute? I think this was $7.99 as well, and then I used the coupon. Are you, like, not focusing? I hope I focused. And then my next order is from My Creative Time. This is one of my favorite um, shops to purchase dyes. I love her dyes. Um, a bit pricey, but I do. I really like her dyes. This is actually a dye that I wanted since last year. She had stocked it probably three times over and it sold out very quickly. Um, and there was one left, and I jumped right on it. Uh, so I don't think it's in stock at this time, but I wanted to share. Uh, I'm not sure when she, uh, if she's getting any more of these in. I'm sure she will. I just thought this little tag was the cutest little snowman tag. I just love his little face, and of course, love the little stitched layering dies, little, um, the little gloves and scarf, little hat, and you don't. I mean, you can cut him too if you wanted to use them. On a different project or use them as a little embellishment but I was so happy to get, finally get my hands on it I think this one was 23 if I'm not mistaken and then this die well stamp and die set usually when I go on my creative times I just love her die so I usually only look at all the dies um, and last week I was just kind of browsing her kits her stamp and die kits and I came across this one so I I don't think this one is new, um, but it was the first time I had seen it, and I jumped right on it. I, you guys know I love my little mugs, and actually this is humongous. It's I think it's a 5x5 five five stitched mug, um, so you can make like a little teacup or a coffee cup. I think the stitched little beans are the uh, coffee beans, and then you get the marshmallows and other like little hearts and the little swirl you put at the top of it so you can make a hot chocolate. Um... Yeah, I can't wait to play with this one. And, then you get, and I think this one is called You Deserve a Break. Um, and then you get the cute little uh, stamps. Warmest holiday wishes. Enjoy every moment. Your kindness warms my heart. And then sending you a latte birthday wishes. Sending you a big cup of cheer. And then the little tea one is Tea is on Me. And, of course, you get the to and from. That would be a really cute, um, uh, like, hot chocolate uh, tag for Christmas. I cannot wait to play with that. So those are the uh, orders that I received from those. And let's jump into the, before I jump in, I have to share this one though, because I love this die and I had already hauled it. It's one of the scoreboard Sizzix um, dies and it's the scallop box die. I love this. And I finally got the replacement one. I did use some chipboard um, on this one and it cut so smoothly. So I made a little, I guess a tea bag box, holder box, if that's what you want to call it. And I added the little Velcro uh, to it, added some tea bags. This is just a little stamp set I had. I stamped and um, cut that out. I 
thought that was cute just to kind of add to it. Um, and then as a little tag on the front, I used my little inky dinky uh, teapot die that I got from scrapbook.com. I thought that'd be, you know, just a cute little addition to it, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I thought that was really cute. All right, let's jump into, um, and as far as links and all that, guys, I don't have all that. I will tell you the shops that I ordered these from, and it's pretty much easy to go on there and search um, these items. You just basically search for the Pacific item, and a whole bunch pops up. Um, the first uh, I'm going to share with you guys is from KS Craft. So that's K S. C-R-A-F-T, that's the name of the shop, and I got a few dies from there, this one I'm going to start out with, and this is just a super cute little uni unicorn die, and this comes with 10 pieces, so everything you need to make a little unicorn, I did put two together, and I put these together just to share with you guys, um, so I put these two, and I think these are the cutest unicorns ever aren't those cute so you get everything at the lashes the unicorn horn the bow um yeah and then you can eat it and i was going to um but i forgot before i glued it you can put like a little heart um like she can hold something you can put a little die or a little sticker that would be even cute um to add that like she's holding something um but yeah those are cute and i think these were three dollars and some change and then this one, I didn't cut. There's some of them, well, a lot of them that I didn't cut. Uh, this is just an ornament shaker die, which I thought was really cute for Christmas. And a cute little bow, a layering bow on top. And then this one i seen last year. I've always wanted it and just never got it because I didn't shop on, um, I didn't shop in China then. I'm still fairly new. Uh, and this is just the shaker flower die. So the flower part, you can make a little shaker, and then it comes with the leaves and the little stem. It's a really cute uh, die. And then the next one, <clears throat> actually, I thought these would be much, much bigger, but I love these. I love the shape, and I like the little dots on the edges of the, um, the die. And you get seven pieces. I just thought those were so pretty. Yeah, like I said, I thought they were much bigger. And then the last one from this shop, I absolutely love, and I was actually surprised to even see this on um, that shop, but the quality and the, the size of this purse guy is perfect. So I don't know how many little pieces. You get the um, the purse itself, the base, and then you get layering dies, and then you get the, the strap die, and then you also get, like, little buckle dies. Um that are included so you get like a little heart an oval and and then you also get this clasp that you, I, i'll show you guys it's better to show you than and like i said it's a nice size purse die i thought this was so cute and i love that they added the layering dies so this is one that i put together Isn't that cute and it's i mean it's a pretty nice size die so i made this one and then I wish I had my ruler so I can measure it for you guys. But I'll compare. If you watch my videos, I did order a while back ago the um, another purse that I'll share with you guys. And then this is another one I made. I added the little, what do you have, a clasp, I keep wanting to say, to the top of those. And then I used the oval dies and some gold um metallic paper in the background just to give it the extra layer and detail. I thought they came out kind of cute. And then these just have the little slits where you can um, put them back together. And I I pulled out one, and this, you just got to get it right so it doesn't do that. So this is um, the purse die that I ordered from our Daily Bread Designs. And this is a pretty nice size, as you can see, purse. But I wanted to kind of compare them because it's really, I mean, it's a smaller purse, but just to show you, it's not like, usually when you get things from that, um, that shop, it's much smaller and this is just like a perfect size. So it's really, I mean, it's smaller, but not that much smaller just to kind of compare. So 
I was happy to see that, and I cannot wait to play with these. All right, and that is it um, as far as that shop. And then the next one is Andy Craft Store. That is A-D-D-Y-C-R-A-F-T Store, S-T-O-R-E. And this one I got these from. All right, this one. I thought these were so cute. This is a little Halloween die. So you get the outer stitched. I don't know, it kind of looks like a sun. And then you get the inner die. It says boo to you. And I put this together. I made a little tag just to show you guys. So there's that die. Cute little boo to you. And it cuts out nicely. The little bats I also ordered from there. It was, no, I did not order. These were actually a free gift that I got. The little bats. So I just added those to it. But that is a really cute um, die for Halloween. And then this one, I have not cut this one out, but I'm really excited about this one. This one is so pretty. So you can use it as a tag. You can make like a little order, Christmas ornament out of this. And I love the shape and the stitched all through the die. So, and you can make like little picture frames. You can make a little shaker. This is um, going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and then this one I thought was much 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 bigger this die is so tiny but so pretty and they had it on a card die which looked like it would be it would fit a card but it doesn't I mean it's really small and I did cut it out this is a piece I think everyone was really excited well I like them both but this one I wanted to use in my crafts as a background die and as you can see it's teeny teeny weeny so I'm gonna have to use them both um but it is. It's a really pretty uh, die, just very small. So I cut that out to share that with you guys. And I think I got this one there from there, too. Um, this one just says, Hello Beautiful. It has the flowers and a cute little butterfly. I did just kind of put it together to show you guys. Really cute. Hello Beautiful die, and I hope it's focusing in. So I have that one. And I also ordered this one, and this one shipped by itself. This is one that I ordered with one of my recent orders, and they didn't put it in um, with the order because they were dishonest, and um, this item was actually out of stock in their shop, and they said that they sent it when it was out of stock. They never had it, um, and they just ignore my uh, you know, messages. So it was, I think I paid like $2, $2 for this day. Um, so I went, I found it on another shop. I love this die. I think it's so pretty. And there it is cut out. This just reminds me of tea. It's, it's going to make a really pretty tea themed, you know, background for whatever I make. So there's that one. And the next one is from shop 42440388 store. And... I'm going to show you the bag first. I ordered this bag. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. I got the stores. I got the stores. No, I don't have the stores wrong. Why is this, uh, their packaging, um, on Andy? All right, so, again, this isn't mixed up. Um, it's the same uh, shop, like I said, shop 42440388 store. So I ordered this stitch tote bag die, and it comes with a cute little um, packet die, and then you get some tags and some other little, like, label or uh, dies you can use on there. And this one was, I think I paid $6 and some change for, and I quickly put it together last night just to share it with you guys. It's a really nice size, too. Um, I think it's a, I love bags and dies. I wish I um, brought the other one to compare it, but it has a really cute uh, scalloped and stitched um, top to it. And then there's that pocket you can add. Um, a gift card would fit perfectly in there. Or if you wanted to maybe send it to a crafty friend, you can put die cuts in there, stickers in there, embellishments in there. Um, but this is another just cute you know, packaging, bag. I think actually they have it listed as a box um, die. So, and I just put some little paper in there just to kind of, and these are the little like labels, I guess, dies. So there's that one. 
Let me see that compared. I should have brought, don't mind this little bag, but this is the one I ordered from, what did I order? I think Mama Elephant. I ordered this one. Uh, I hope it is. I just kind of wanted to compare these. See how probably an inch bigger than the other one, and they're about the same size with the width. And then I ordered these. I didn't put them together because there's tons of little pieces. They're holiday add-ons to the bag. And these actually make several different things. Like this one um, is the snowman. You can make like a little deer out of it. And I think there's another one that you can make out of the one die. And it's just little add-ons that you can um, decorate with the bag. Or you can put them on a card or a tag, whatever you wanted to do. But they do fit perfectly. Cute Christmas favor bags that, uh, that I would make. And then this one is Santa Claus. You can also make like an elf out of it. And I think there's one more that you can make out of this one. And this one you can make a ton. Um, I think there's like Frankenstein. There's a mummy. There's a vampire. And there's another one that you can make all out of this one die. I just didn't feel like cutting out all these little dies and just kind of putting them all together. But I will um, during the holidays, and I'll definitely jump on and share those with you guys. All right, so there's that. And then one more um, is this cute, and they actually have this little horse die. Um, I think it's listed on there as a Trojan um, die, which was kind of funny. So it's just a little – I put – two together quickly just to share with you guys and I think these are so cute I don't it's not a unicorn die it's just a, I think a horse die I mean if you wanted to maybe you can make it a unicorn but I think it's cute as is I love the designs um and all the little dies lots of layering dies in this one isn't that pretty so there's that one and then I have some little ones over here. I also ordered this little uh, boat die, which is cute. It has a little heart. I haven't put that together yet. And I want to share these little girls with you guys. And I ordered this a while back ago, and it's actually my first time bringing them out playing with them. I had something in mind for them, and I think they just came out adorable. And this is just that girl die. Um, and it, I got it from Alina's Craft. So I used that to make these little girl dies, little, just like little paper dolls. Um, so there they are. And then I also made a bunch of unicorn, um, little unicorn girls, which I think are super cute. So I added some little, um, I used a coloring pencil, I added some blush, and then I just used my... Um, jelly roll pen just to add the little white freckles to it so I made several of those and this is the back side and what I used for the unicorn ears and horn are the dies um, which is perfect because they're smaller the unicorn dies from Alina craft or yeah so there's this one I made a bunch of them, and I'm obsessed over these. I think they're like the cutest little paper dolls ever. I'm going to make this one. If you're on my Instagram, you've probably already seen these. So I made quite a few of those. And then I made this one, which is which was really, really cute. I loved her. I used actually a brown coloring pencil to make freckles, and the pencil was just so soft that it just kind of messed my little freckles up, so she's a no-go. She's just going to be a little um, doll Gigi can just kind of be rough with and go ahead and play with it. Um, of course, I'm making, uh, I'm going to cut out a bunch of these and let Gianna pick um, the paper that she wants to use. She loves dressing up little paper dolls. And this is a perfect die just for that. So I'm going to let her choose her paper and she can just go to town and dress up these little girl um, dies. So I made those and I actually already added one to her, one, um, one of her to this tag. Where is she? 
And I actually just used the tag that I got from Michael's. It had the little unicorn on it. And then I added her. I added some sticko glitter around the flowers just to give it that little um, sparkle. And then I added a, a diamond dye shining so bright. And then I went along the edges, glued it, and just add some of the sequence or glitter that you get from um, Target. I love that glitter. It's so pretty. But I had to add her to a tag, of course. So that's what I did. And those are are my little unicorn ice creams I already shared with you guys. And this is another little unicorn dye that I haven't really played with and I bought it, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago. Um, the unicorn dye. She's so pretty too. I don't know why I haven't played with her. So I uh, finally pulled her out and cut her out. So, yeah. Um, what else did I make over here? These... Let me show you this, too, because this is another little girl dye, and it's from Andy Craft. It's almost the same exact dye as these, but I think the only difference is she has her arm out and she holds a bird. But as far as, like, the hair and the little dress and the face, they look the same uh, to me. This one, you get, like, a little bow you can put in her hair or a little crown. It's really cute, but as you can see, it's uh, much smaller than... This one, which is, I love girl uh, dyes. All right, what else do I have over here? These I think I already shared with you guys. This is um, just like a, I think it's actually a 3D, it's supposed to make a 3D cupcake card, but I used the little cupcakes inside to make some cupcake embellishments, and there's one that kind of disappeared off my table. I made some... Um, little uh mermaid cupcakes which i thought came out really cute i was actually going to try to recreate the um the stick cupcake stickers for michael's the unicorn and mermaids until i pulled out another die and used the whipped cream top for the cupcake and then I went a whole different way, but I stuck a little mermaid tail in there. And then this one, I just used the cupcake from the die set itself. Aren't those so cute? Okay, I hope it's focusing in. It doesn't look like it is from over here. You gonna focus in? You don't want to do all that shit in the background. Anyways, those were really cute, and I used the dye that I got from China, the Little Mermaid tail dye, and just kind of cut them off and stick them through. And the whipped cream dye that I used on top of these cupcakes is actually the whipped cream that comes with this set. I got to get me um, some magnetic sheets because my dyes, a lot of little dyes fall out, but that's the one that I used. Um, to make that. What else did I want to share with you guys over here? I had, see these little bows are like falling out and I can't have that because these little bows are so cute. These are the little ones that go across the, um, see they're all falling. These little cheap bags they like to, um, this is why you need some magnetic sheets just for these little dies because they're hard to keep together. All right. And then these ones, I think I had already shared with you guys. Um, and this is just a little, uh, heart dye with, uh, butterfly butterflies. And then this one is just says, uh, big hugs. And this is a flower dye. This reminds me of like a winter Christmassy, um, flower dye. And then, of course, I got the Christmas butterfly dye, which is super cute. I had already shared that. I don't think I shared this one. This is a layered, or you get two dyes, a dragonfly dye. I have, I still have tons in my drawer that I have to share with you guys. Um, yeah, and I think that pretty much sums it all up. I just wanted to cut some out and share some with you guys. So, um... Yeah, so it's Friday, and I'm getting ready to get my butt out of the house and do something. Gigi is taking a nap at the moment, so um, I don't know. Maybe I'll take her to the park or Adventure Landing or just, you know, just something. 
uh, so she can burn off some energy today. All right, so I will chat with you guys soon. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I always say this at the end of my videos. Um, I do have an Instagram where I share a lot on my Instagram, but it is private. So just let me know you're coming from my YouTube channel, and I'll more than likely accept you. And take care, guys, and be safe. Bye.